I'm going to show you how to draw a much bigger crate. Okay? We're going to start again in exactly the same way. At the bottom, we're going to draw a line about 10 centimeters. I'm going to flip my ruler and measure. Oh, that's 11. Okay, that's fine. About 10 centimeters. And then I'm going to draw my left hand side and I'm going to make it about 8 centimeters. You can see me measuring as I go. I'm going to stick to that. 30 degree angle that's already on my grid and then I'm going to draw my right hand side boys guess how long is this going to be eight, eight. oh so easy drawing a nice metric okay lines that overlap are fine this is to help me fit my shape inside the height I'm going to put on the left and right hand side Let's start with the right hand side and it's about 10 centimeters but these lines should line up so I'm going to move this line here if I look over on my grid it goes to about there okay same on here pull the line up what's the last bit of drawing the isometric grid Making a square. What? Square on the, top. the square on the top so I'm going to take the square and twist my page around here sorry and I'm going to add in the four missing lines to make the end of my crit they should follow the grey grid lines and they should meet each other. Oof, perfectly sized. That means that if it's bigger than 11 centimetres, it probably wouldn't fit. There is nothing wrong with a crate overlapping. Designers do it all the time, lovely swirly lines that overlap. Okay, push stop.